All right, hello, hello, everybody. Dr. Alex Earl here at Pure Plastic Surgery, and it's Hump Day with Dr. Alex Earl. And we got a very, very special guest with us here today. Um, so we are going to wait and see if she joins us, uh, so that we can then uh, ask her a few questions. Okay, uh, but we're very excited about this um, today. We are going to have the president and CEO of Aveli. That's right. That's the new cellulite treatment that we have here at Pure. Uh, and uh, hopefully she will be joining us here soon um, so that we can then talk to her about the device and how it was created, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So... ...on the... Uh, technology uh, <laughs> uh, to see if this is going to work. All right. Coming on. Are. Hello, hello. Hi, Dr. Earl. How are you? Good. Hey, Carol. Are you doing okay? Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Perfect. Perfect. So we're on and we're live. So I was just telling everybody that uh, we're super excited to have you. So everybody, this is uh, uh, Carolyn Van Hove, and she is the president and CEO of Ravel, uh, which is the company that makes Ovali. Uh, and that's what we're here to uh, talk about today. So thank you so much for joining us here today. Of course. Of course. Thanks so much for having me. Hi, everybody. All right. Excellent. So, um, so I wanted to start off by, you know, you know, having everyone kind of learn a little bit about you. Uh, and a little bit of your background, because you've been kind of in this, this industry for a very long time now. Um, and also, you know, a little bit about R Ravel itself and, and how it came about. Yeah. Well, first of all, super um, pleased to join you all. So as Dr. Earl mentioned, I've been in the medical aesthetics world for a very long time. Uh, I'm not going to reveal my age, but uh, I had the good fortune of being around when Botox Cosmetic was first launched. I was at a company called Allergan, which is the makers of Botox. And I've had the great privilege of really helping to shape this, uh, this market and bring other exciting technologies um, to obviously women and consumers such as dermal fillers and then breast implants and lots of other very cool technology that helps us all feel better in our skin. And so, uh, and then I found my way to this really cool technology, Avli, um, which treats one of the number one skincare conditions that most women have today, which is obviously cellulite. So. Yeah, that's right. So about uh, nine out of 10 women uh, will have, you know, some degree of cellulite uh, at some point in their lives. So it's actually quite, quite common. Yeah, um, so, it's, it yeah. certainly is right. And, and unfortunately, it's not something that occurs because we don't diet enough or we don't exercise enough or uh, etc. It just occurs in women post puberty. We, all women essentially get affected different ages, different body styles. Um, and it is one of sort of the conditions that I think is really restrictive for women. You know, it's hard to cover up. It's very right. restrictive. The clothes that we wear and everybody loves to wear these tight, light color clothing these days. And obviously the cellulite kind of really the, the dimpling kind of in the skin is very apparent. Um, lots of women, we've done lots of research, right? To understand how big of a concern is it to most of us women. And the stories you hear are heartbreaking, right? Women have never been in a bathing suit, never wore right. shorts, don't want to be intimate, um, don't even want to run because it, it sort of shows the cellulite maybe a little bit more visibly. And so it is very restrictive. And, um, and having been in this medical aesthetics market for so long, where it started with sort of anti-wrinkle remedies, if you will, a, a wrinkle can be a little charming, but I think there's nothing charming about cellulite for most women. And so... And, and that's why we're so passionate about Avali. Right, right. No, and, and, and walk us through that a little bit because it, it is such a, a pervasive, you know, kind of skin condition, as you say. Um, and of course, women don't like it, but you know, there's, it's, it's been around obviously forever and uh, there's been attempts at solutions in the past, yeah. but it seems like a lot of them haven't been too successful. So what makes, you know, oddly different uh, than other things that perhaps a lot of women have tried in the past for their cellulite. Yeah, so a company like ours, we've obviously learned a lot from experts like yourself, which is why does cellulite, you know, occur to begin with? And when you think about cellulite, you really have to think about, you know, the anatomy underneath the skin. And so 
the way cellulite occurs is the 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 skin will thin over time right yeah. and so some have thinner skin than others some of us have very thick skin but but by and large a thin will a skin will thin and then we have fat cells underneath it right and as we go through different stages of life um, these fat cells will become you know bigger smaller and so on and then we have connective tissue underneath the skin right. So we call them fibrous bands and imagine those bands connecting your skin to the muscle and these bands the technical term is septa and essentially the dimples or kind of irregularities on the skin occur is because when we think about the skin thinning and the fat cells becoming larger it's these bands that once they start to stiffen or shrink they pull down the they put tension on the skin and that's what causes that rippling effect or these dents on the skin meaning the cellulite or the dimples if you will and so when we understood that we thought okay if really what the dimpling comes down to are these bands that stiffen or shrink then the best solution is to find a little tool or a device that that allows you the expert to go underneath the skin and really release or cut these bands if you will and that's what avli does very effectively so it's a tool that in an expert hand you go under the skin and it gives you the ability to very precisely identify or figure out where are all these bands that pull down the skin and then release them in a very precise, in a very targeted, and also in a very minimally invasive way, right. and, and then allow you to verify the release before you move on to treating the next dimple. And I think to your point of all the solutions that have been out there, cellulite, what makes yeah. Avali so effective is that it is so precise and so targeted in identifying where all these bands are and then releasing them in a verifiable way so that truly it gives you the visible results that you as a woman have paid for yeah so, so it really, basically it really goes to the root of the problem which are, yeah. are these bands specifically so i know you know a lot of times things have been tried kind of topically but if you're putting something over top of the skin it's not going to really yeah. reach these bands which are exactly what we need to target yeah um Do, so it's a, point right yeah. try to find out where are these little bands right these pesky bands that pull down the skin from the outside it's a very difficult job right it's very challenging to figure out from the outside where are these bands and am i releasing them effectively and so the better way is to go underneath the skin in, a, in still a very comfortable way for the patient but to go underneath the skin and allow for that identification and the cutting or the release of those bands and again, allow for a verification of the release before you move on to treating the next dimple. Right, and another thing that you guys uh, figured out um, is that it's typically not like this one little single band. Is that correct? So like, tell, right. walk through, through us a little bit about the research and how you came about that. And then based off of that, you were able to create yeah. you know, this very specific tool. So Avali was um, developed and designed by some very, very sm smart engineers. <laughs> Years, they went into cadaver labs for many, many years, and they did lots of cadaver labs okay. to really study all these kind of fibrous bands structures. And they then contrasted their observations with what was shown in the literature. And one of their aha moments was when you look at the published literature on sort of the anatomy of cellulites, it will always show these bands that attach skin to muscle as a single band, as you <laughs> Bands, um, that pulls down the skin but when our engineers through endoscopic sort of measurements looked at these bands they all of a sudden saw that these bands are not just these simple single bands right underneath the dimple they saw that it was a, a very complicated web sort of a right. honeycomb web lots of bands if you will sort of a cluster and that's what made them realize that it's so complicated uh, to see what's underneath it and made them realize that we really have to have a precision device, if you will, that allows you, the expert, to figure out where are all these bands um, and release them and verify the release versus just assuming it's yeah. a single band that's right underneath that dimple. Um, and so understanding that it was multiple bands, a whole web, that's what made them really realize we have to 
design a better technology that is more precise and, and more verifiable. Um, and that, to your point, the big aha moments. Yeah, exactly. So I think that's why, why this works so well. We're kind of going to get into it and, 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 and how it works. But, um, you know, just, you know, briefly, like in, in my experience, I've been using it for quite a few months now, and I think it's, it's tremendous. It's actually probably the only um, device that really functions well for cellulite and provides long-term results. Um, but oftentimes when I have to release a band, it's not just like kind of one pass through and that's it, but I have to go back and pass, uh, you know, maybe two or three times depending on, on the dimple to make sure that I get that entire, you know, network of the septa there fully released. And so we, and we can check that as we're doing it, you know, live on the patient. Yeah. yeah to your point, right? So when you understand that what pulls down your skin is a web, sort of a complicated web, when you look at our little device, it has a very small little blade. And so we go underneath that skin and we make a very precise little release or a little cut. But in order to release that full web of septa, we have to make a few of those cuts, if you will. Uh, the good news is through expert hands like yourselves, you know, you verify that release. So it doesn't matter that it's a complicated web with the Avali procedure you can truly kind of identify that whole network and release it very effectively. And that's what makes this a one-time treatment, um, you know, in the right hands. Yeah, that's great. So it's definitely, that's a one-time treatment. A lot of previous treatments, you have to go in like two, three, four times, but this is just a one time and, and it'll treat that specific dimple pretty much forever once that band is completely released. Yeah. So I just want to kind of show people exact kind of what it looks like. So let me zoom back a little bit. Uh, but this is what the entire device looks like. That's the name of it right there. Um, and so it's, you know, it's, it's a small little wand basically. And so it's um, about the size of maybe a big needle. That's all it is. Um, so of course we do numb, numb up the skin beforehand. Um, and then we place that just underneath the skin. And then it typically has a little light here. So red light, that tra that we call it translucent, but we can see it through the skin. And therefore I know exactly where the wand is and I can make sure that I'm underneath that dimple. And then when we go to, to get the little blade out that uh, Kato was here talking about, uh, I'm not sure you can see it right there, but that's the little blade. Um, and that's what helps cut and release and release the bands. Um, and like we said, depending on the dimple, some dimples are small and simple. We only do a couple passes. Some are gonna be larger or more oblong or shaped differently and we, we can do several passes through there but once those bands are cut they're pretty much cut forever correct uh do yeah. would those bands ever come back reattached to themselves so biologically it's been confirmed that once you release those bands or you cut those bands they actually re they don't re-adhere right. now that doesn't mean that bands the other million bands around you know <laughs> and don't open over time stiffen or shrink and that you won't get cellulite or dimples appear in other areas uh, that's not the case right but when you do release those targeted bands they don't reattach or regrow and so obviously has been studied up to one year and that showed right. a durability or sustained results at one year and again biologically those um bands don't reattach or regrow so we are fda approved which is essentially the regulatory body in the united states right uh we are fda approved or fda cleared for the long-term reduction of cellulite so it is a long-term result whether you treat dimples in the buttock or in the thigh perfect perfect um and so we're, we're gonna have some questions now from from the public uh so um and we're happy to take those as well and uh, willie here is gonna help us out uh with some of the questions so we can answer uh for them but uh one of the questions is um does, is this like a, something that i have to do in the operating room you know do i have to go to the or and be under general anesthesia for something like this um and uh if you want you can talk a little bit about this but of course you know the answer the short answer is no is <laughs> no because obviously as a woman, you know, obviously leading this company, I think that we really designed Avali with the comfort of the patient in mind. And so we wanted this to be a procedure that could be done fully awake and fully comfortable. So once the, the dimples that you are bothered by are identified and marked by, in this case, Dr. Earl, yeah. um, you're just lay down on sort of reclining, sort of a, a, a medical chair. Um, and then essentially, 
the, the pathway through which we're going to tunnel with Avali underneath the skin is going to be anesthetized. So, you know, lidocaine is applied so that it is very comfortable when essentially we start the procedure. So the patient is fully awake uh, in that instance and comfortable. But as Dr. Earl mentioned, you can also add Avali or do it in the OR if you're already doing another body procedure under general anesthesia. But it was designed to, you know, essentially be administered with the patient fully awake and comfortable. Yeah, that's the great thing about it. So yeah, you don't necessarily, you don't need to be under anesthesia. You don't need to be like not eating or drinking. Yeah. Uh, you don't need a whole bunch of lab work and all these things. Of course, we always check you. We check your medical history, make sure you're healthy. We make sure you're not in any blood thinners or something like that. Um, so we verify all that information. But the great news is that you could just do it right in the clinic setting um, and basically, you know, drive yourself home essentially. Yeah uh after that um but that's another, the second point is a good point so obviously i mean i know you 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 guys are very concentrated on the device and it has you know a very you know specific indication which is for the cellulite um but we're we're seeing it you know especially from our our side here is that it's it's just it's one thing that we can add to basically to really kind of rejuvenate um the lower body so um you know nowadays 2023 um, it's not just about, you know, the, basically from the neck up uh, anymore in terms of, you know, rejuvenation, rejuvenation excuse me, but, um, you know, there's a lot of emphasis and focus on, you know, being able to rejuvenate the lower body as well. And so there's, it, it's part of our toolkit uh, for that. Yeah, I think that's absolutely. Absolutely right, right? So as a woman, obviously been in this space for a long time, we spent the last few decades so focused on designing technologies and products for the face and facial rejuvenation has really become obviously very socialized and normalized. And obviously experts like you have focused on breast rejuvenation and sort of tummy tucks and, and all of that has done wonderful work for, for women like me. And sort of upper two thirds of the body are well covered. But then sort of now we look sort of below the waist and we say, I'd, I'd like maybe a better contoured booty or some nicely shaped and smooth and tight legs. And, and that's really kind of what women are looking for now. So um, to your point, when we think about the legs or what we kind of technically call sort of the lower extremity, so booties and legs, yeah. right? Not just cellulite that's present, mm -hmm. right? We also have loose skin or laxity, or we have volume loss, or we gain some volume. And so those are all, those require all different treatment modalities. And the nice thing about Avali is, I think you always have to start somewhere, right? You have to do something that is already going to give you a result that you really believe in. And so we treat the cellulites, you know, very effectively with Avali. And then obviously you have other solutions for the laxity and maybe sort of the volume loss or volume gain. And that's what we're also excited about, right? Which is, it's going to open up that whole sort of thinking about, you know, um, global rejuvenation of the lower body. So the buttock and the thigh and so on. And I think in, 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 in practices like yourself, you have the whole toolkit to do wonderful work for women. So I'm very excited about that. Yeah, I mean, it's an essential tool because before I used to tell people like, you know, they're like, you know, I want a BBL and I'm like, great, that's great. But you have all this cellulite and quite honestly, there's just nothing I can do about that. Um, yeah. and, and, you know, and now things have completely changed. So now if you need some more volume, yes, we can do fat transfer. If you have cellulite, we can use the Ovali device. Um, if you have some skin laxity, we can use something that helps with the skin tightening, such as like a, a body tight or a J plasma or uh, microneedling with radio frequency. So we can combine all these things together to like really, really, you know, rejuvenate uh, or enhance the entire lower body now. So this is something that's, that's been essential because like I said, up until now, there was just nothing I could do. And so I could have this beautiful shape, this beautiful BBL, but then my patient would still not want to wear like the white leggings because, yeah. you know, there'll still be some dimpling there and you know, now yeah. we can totally change that. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> All right. Do we have some questions from uh, some, some yes. ladies? All right, go ahead. Shoot. Can it be done in conjunction with a BBL? Okay. So going off of that, can we do it with a BBL? So I, I, I know you have, uh, you, you obviously speak to several surgeons and each one I think might have their different opinions, but it, for me, I think, if you have not not too too many lesions like you have a few isolated lesions that are very well defined 
um, then I, I am comfortable doing it at a time of the BBL, especially because I also use the ultrasound. I can make sure that I'm placing the fat kind of in that deeper subcutaneous le uh, layer and the alveoli is actually working more in that superficial subcutaneous le uh, layer so we can separate those out and not create any issues. Um, but if you have a lot, a lot of cellulite, um, then I think it's probably then best to stage those procedures. Um, what have you found with your experience and some of the uh, you know surgeons you've been speaking to? Yeah, I think everybody does it a little differently. <laughs> and I think this is where you have to go to an expert like yourself. I think your logic is, is, is very strong. Um, I think, again, it, it depends on the patient to your point, right? Do you have lots of dimples? Do you have a few dimples? Uh, would you prefer to do it in two stages versus one stage? I think those are all important considerations you have to discuss with your uh, with your surgeon. But I think that in general, um, like I said, most of us women don't just have or want volume loss or volume gain, but we also have the cellulite. And so obviously a thing like BBL does not solve for the cellulite and solving the cellulite doesn't give you extra contour. So I think right. it's very important to think of those things in harmony and in combination. And, and that's why many women who've had a BBL before or are thinking about a BBL, now they can address that. Will it solve my cellulite? A surgeon's going to say, no, it won't. And I think that's obviously where um, Avali is so, um, I think, beneficial to consider. Right, exactly. And, um, and I've also, you know, sometimes there's just these little flat spots that yeah. Um, you know, that the, the obviously helps in terms of releasing that and really creating that contour that we're looking for. Yeah. Um, it's a, a question that I get asked quite a few times is, um, how many lesions can I treat at one time? Okay. And I guess that's also going to depend a little bit, but I've been saying, you know, I typically don't want to do much more than say 12 or so in one setting, but what, what do you guys have any specific guidelines for that? Uh, no, we don't. So we were approved to <laughs> kind of cellulite in the buttock as well as in the thigh and so um, we to explain kind of the procedure a, a little bit further is you know in this case Dr. Earl would make a small entry point no no more than three and a half millimeters so super super yeah. small into the bottom of your buttock region to kind of tunnel up to all the dimples that you might have in the buttock as well as down the thigh and so what that enables us to do is to treat any and all dimples that you have in that buttock as well as in the thigh and so we've you know we have many women that have not just a few dimples and i mean 10 or even 15 but have lots you know including myself and so um you can certainly do all those dimples in one kind of ovaly procedure um Sometimes if you've done other work before or depending on, you know, what you're comfortable with, you may want to do it in two. But in general, we've treated anything anywhere from five dimples to 50 dimples in just one procedure. So yeah. I, it's something for you to discuss with your surgeon. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Um, and of course, every patient's a little bit different. We also, uh, but the other consideration that from, you know, from the point of view of the local anesthetic is there's only so much local anesthetic that a patient can take. So I think that's another thing that we all always have to keep in mind as well. Yeah, if you have a lot of dimples, you know, it might be more efficient, you know, for both, you know, the patient as well as yourself to do it in a general anesthesia setting. Um, and, and those are all great questions to ask when you go in for your consult. All right. All right. What, this is for Caro. Okay. Uh, is this available in the UK? Oh, no. is it available outside the US? Let's put it that way. No, unfortunately, on. And if you detect an accent, I'm from Belgium. So of course, Europe is near and dear to my heart. And I worked there for a long time. But no, we are currently only approved in the United States. We did also um, just received a, a clearance for Australia, but we haven't entered oh. the Australian market yet. So we're working on it, but not right now. So right now, we're, we're very focused on, on the United States. All right. So coming soon. Yep. Uh, Europe, Europe coming soon. Now, you know, my <laughs> Out of a, a, a difficult flight from Europe, and so uh, you can certainly find uh, some great experts in the U.S. All right, excellent. If I have fillers or biopolymers, can I still have Avoli? Oh, that's an interesting question. Okay, so um, so for patients that have had the biopolymers or you know things that sometimes honestly really shouldn't be there, I, I typically, for example, I I don't do a BBL. Um, but my concern in that is because I'm, you know, that's a bit more invasive and I'm concerned with, you know, embolism and stuff like that. And the belly is, you know, obviously a lot more superficial. 
Um, has that ever come up? Anyone asked if, if it can be done with, with that type of thing? No, uh, I have not. Yeah. I obviously defer to the experts. Yeah. So I, I think, I, you know, from my point of view, I think it's okay. I would say it's okay to do this is, you know, a, a lot more superficial. So I wouldn't uh, worry about problems with biopolymers or other types of fillers going to places that they shouldn't go. So, um, so yeah, if you're, if you're coming to me, you ask me that question, we would probably be able to go ahead with that. Okay. All right. Excellent. Any other questions there? Um, yes. Yeah. Last one. Yes. Here we go. The last, last one. one is about the recovery time. Oh, recovery. Yes. Okay. That's very, very important. And so we talked about it a little bit, but yeah, it's an outpatient procedure. It's a clinic procedure. Um, and that means you go home and drive yourself home, even if you wanted to really, um, there's going to be some bruising, of course. Um, and that's uh, typically maybe for a few days up to a week or so. Uh, but after that, uh, it should settle. Um, and then, you know, the, there's going to be some swelling as well. And that should definitely settle down, you know, in the next, you know, probably over the first couple of weeks or so. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And so for us, uh, um, to Dr. Earl's point, you're going to bruise, you're going to have some soreness. Um, you, you, because of the little entry points that we make, right, you'll have some weeping of sort of the fluid or the anesthesia thereafter. Um, but many patients return just kind of to their normal activities within 24 hours. Um, and so uh, in terms of kind of the post care, um, I know Dr. Earl in your case, right? It's, it's where kind of uh, tight, uh, tight legging, if you will, or if you've yeah. had a lot of pills done, um, maybe the practice will recommend medical grade compression for a while. Um, I think you just have to listen to your surgeon and their post care regimen, but uh, you'll bruise and you'll be sore. That's right. That's, yeah, that's exactly right. So yeah, we're doing several lesions. We will recommend like a Faha type garment as well, just to give you some additional compression. Um, and then I just see a comment here. Someone, so yeah. someone says I've had this procedure and it definitely works and I highly recommend it. So uh, that's great. Uh, it's definitely true. I think it's, it is like, it is the cellulite device that actually works. And like we said before, uh, we've had, you know, you see great long-term results up to one year. Um, and you know, once that specific dimple is treated with the Ovali device, it will, that specific dimple will not come back. Um, the only thing she added was that during recovery, uh, there was some hardening around where the, where, where the treatment was done and that's mostly due to swelling. So, um, like we said, you know, just now compression is definitely going to help. Uh, but eventually once that swelling comes down, things will soften up and that dimple will be gone. All yeah. right. <laughs> Excellent. Well. Caro, it's been really, really great having you on here on, on our uh, live. Um, and we want to thank you so much for, for coming on and explaining all this to, to our followers. Thank you. It's so exciting. And for those of you women with cellulite that have turned to lotions and potions and have had lots of disappointment along the way, I certainly was one of those. But for sure, if you have cellulite on the buttock or the thigh that's kind of real dimpling, there's now an option. And I would say find your way to Dr. Earl and other kind of practices. You can find it also, um, you know, through our resources. But uh, there's now something that really works. Um, and we'd be happy to talk about it a lot more with you, Dr. Earl. <laughs> awesome. Sounds great. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Take care. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>